This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Lemon Tree on the piano, okay? So give you a preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson before we start. Check it out. So let's get right into it. So learning the melody and block chords first because that's the foundation of song and afterwards I'll tell you what like patterns you can add like what I did in the preview. All right, so here we go. All right, so first part, okay, we'll break it up into parts. It's easy to learn. So the first part starts on the E flat here, middle C here. So just the E flat just above it. So E flat up to C, D flat, E flat, C, E flat, F, B flat, a flat F A flat A F A flat F A flat B flat C E flat C and that's it for the first part all right so we're breaking up this lesson into four parts is easy to learn so that's the first part let's do this first part again so the right hand goes E flat up to C D flat E flat C E flat F B flat A flat F A flat F A flat F A flat B flat C E flat C and that's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat. Second chord is E flat major, which is E flat G, B flat. Third chord is F minor, which is F, A flat C. And fourth chord is C minor, which is C, E flat G. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so A flat major, E flat major, F minor, and C minor. Two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, C and A flat major together. E flat and E flat major together, A flat and F minor together, C and C minor together, and that is it for the first part. All right, let's do it again. It goes together, 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 together. All right, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues. It goes C B flat A flat A flat A flat B flat. A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, C, C. And that's it for the right hand, all right? Let's do it again. So it goes C, B flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, A flat, B flat, C, C. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. Second chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Third chord is A flat major, which is a flat C E flat and fourth chord is E flat major which is E flat G B flat so with these four chords in mind so D flat major E flat major A flat major and E flat major the turn together goes like this so right hand starts after the B flat D flat major by itself right hand continues after B flat E flat major by itself right hand continues B flat and A flat major together after C E flat major by itself that's it, all right, let's do it again. It goes here, here, together, here. And that's it for the second part, all right? So, so far, the two parts we've learned so far, back to back, will be played like this. Check it out. Now, something awesome happens. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So, awesomeness, we just save some time, okay? Now, the fourth and last part changes. So, right hand continues, goes up to the two E flats, two D flats, two Cs, and then A flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, C, A flat, B flat. That's it for the fourth part for the right hand, all right? So one more time, it goes E flat, E flat, 
D flat, D flat, C, C, A flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, C, A flat, B flat. And that's it for the right hand, alright? The left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are D flat major, which is D flat F A flat. The second chord is a four note chord, it's D half diminished, which is D F A flat C. And third chord is E flat major, E flat G B flat, and fourth chord is also E flat major. Simple stuff. So with these four chords in mind, so D flat major, D half diminished, and two E flat major chords. Two ends together goes like this. So right hand starts after E flat, D flat major by itself, right hand continues. After C chord by itself, right hand continues. C and chord together. After B flat, E flat major by itself. And that's it. Okay, let's do it again. It goes here. Here. Together. Yeah, and there you go. That is the fourth part. All right. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson would be played like this. Check it out. Alright, so that's that. Once you get the melody and block chords like this all good, and like you repeat it a few times and it's consistently correct, then you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns. But right now, let's just show you what you can do, like what I did in the preview, okay? Uh, because that pattern is kind of like how it plays in the original as well, okay? So the pattern is really simple. What you do for the, all of the chords, you play, okay? Well, most of the chords, you don't have to do for all of the chords, okay? So the first, like maybe three quarters of it, do the root note, followed by the higher two notes, and then followed by the highest note played an octave below, and back to the higher two notes. Yeah. And do that for all the chords. It's like nice and playful piano pattern. Etc. And then applying it to it. If you're just starting off the piano, if you're a beginner, it might take a bit of time because now it requires a little bit of hand independence since the left hand is doing its own like pattern for all of the chords. But it should be pretty easy because uh, since you got the chords already and now you're just applying this specific pattern. But yeah, coordinate your hands for the rhythm might be a little bit of a challenge, but just get the melody and chords version very good first and then it'll be all good. Okay, so it just goes like this. Arpeggio. Yeah, and then you can like even do like arpeggios the whole way if you want. You could be like. Yeah, play around with it, all right? So yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. Uh, if you wanna learn more catchy songs like these, go ahead, just search up your favorite song name followed by Amal Store in the YouTube search and you can find all those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that is pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.